Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today this reading is going to be uh, for a specific sign. We're going to find out what that sign is together. So please be your own leader of discernment while watching this general reading. Not everything is going to resonate with you and that is okay. So pick up what does and drop the rest for someone else to appreciate. Capiche? Capiche. All right, guys, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. It is greatly appreciated and it does help out the channel. All right, let's see what we got going on for y'all. see what we got going on Sorry, I just remember something. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What do they need to hear at this time? Who is this reading for? Who is this reading for, Spirit? What zodiac sign are we going to do today? Okay, Taurus. I'm sorry. Tor Tor. What's up, baby boo? Did I do y'all already? Let me check. I did Aquarius, I did Aries, I did Scorpio, I did Gemini. Okay, Taurus, this is your reading. Yay! Okay, so you could have Taurus anywhere in your chart. Someone rising Venus, North Node, South Node, or you could be cross watching for a Taurus. Flip the roles how you see fit, okay? Not your mama, not your daddy. Let's see what's going on with my Tor Taurus. What's going on with you, Taurus? Okay, so we have Mercury. All right. Um, someone here could want to communicate something to you. All right. Maybe you're going to hear from someone during this Mercury retrograde. Okay. Maybe there's someone here that wants to, they have a lot to say to you, or they don't know. Um, where to start or where to begin on what to tell you or how maybe this is someone here who doesn't know how to tell you how they really feel this could be um a love interest for some of you not all y'all this could be someone you know and or somebody you don't know okay Okay, I keep hearing this. Um, it's the power of God. Okay? The wrath of God. <laughs> Someone talks like that? I don't know. The power of God, the wrath of God. Something here about the wrath of God is of significance. Maybe somebody's going through some sort of, you know, judgment, karma. And they're going to communicate to you how they're getting their ass whooped or something. I don't know. You guys could be seeing 11-11 a lot. You guys could be seeing the number 111 as well. Okay. What's going on with my tour tour? My hair is bothering me today. <sighs> What's going on with my horses? What do they need to hear today? For the half good. What do they need to hear? Spirit. So we got ninth house. Whoever I'm speaking to, you could be um, going through some form of ascension or... 
there's some sort of communication that's going to be coming towards you or being brought to your attention and it's going to you're being advised to look at a situation, a place, a person, a thing, okay, from a higher perspective. You're being guided to look at something from uh look at the bigger picture of it all. Is the vibe I'm getting, okay? I'm also getting something here about taking the high road. Um, do not fall into um, taking impulsive action. There's an importance for you to have um, your your thoughts be rooted in like um, how can I say this? I think this is a warning. There's something here about do, about making a decision a decision or taking action too quickly because um it may not benefit you long term okay yeah something here about your 10th house is of significance maybe this is something here about um your career or where you're headed where you're going maybe there's someone here that wants to come in and communicate something to you offer you something and it may not be in alignment with your destiny it may not be in, a, in alignment or for your best interest of your career okay it could fuck up your career um it could make you go backwards something like this okay there's a need for you to um look at something from all angles or something that something like that maybe someone's gonna come in and make something sound good it may not be that good. You guys could be seeing 1010 a lot. Someone here could be born October 9th. Okay, you guys could be dealing with a Libra. Okay, whoever I'm speaking to, you guys could be experiencing some sort of balance and harmony being restored into your life. Someone here could be born September 10th. Okay, someone here could be a Virgis that you're dealing with, or you have Virgo somewhere in your chart. Someone here could definitely be in their emotions, or like I said, someone here. Maybe they're having a hard time putting their emotions into words and they don't know where to begin, okay? You guys could be dealing with a cancer or someone who has cancer somewhere in their chart or you do, okay? Um, are there something here about this, uh, the full moon that's coming up? I believe that's next Monday. Hmm. What is going on with my Tauruses? Listen, I channeled a song last night. I don't know if I should talk about it in your reading, Taurus, or I should just save it for a collective reading. It kind of it kind of like goes with this reading, though. Someone here is working on trying to be a better person is the vibe I'm getting, okay? Some, someone here could have learned their lesson. <laughs> someone here could have learned their lesson. They could be in their emotions. This could be a mother figure for some of you with this moon card. I don't know. Someone here could be real emotional right now, or you could be real emotional or real intuitive. Or you need to use your intuition when it comes to like um, a Virgo or when it comes to what you do for work or at the workplace with the sixth house here. Or um, something here about intuitive eating could be beneficial for you right now. So for instance, if you're feeling like... Um, if you're feeling like oh I don't like if you're feeling like you want to eat lighter then eat lighter if you're feeling like you don't want to eat like um, certain types of food don't eat them like go after what you're craving but as long as it's not something that's like bad for you does this make sense like if you feel like you want to eat more like salads right now eat more salads if you feel like you want to eat more um, fish eat more fish whatever something something like that okay there's fourth house at the bottom of the deck. So there's something here about your family that could be of significance.
Maybe there's um, a, a mother figure here who's uh, emotional or in their emotions and wants to speak to you because um, they feel like they didn't support you in the past or something like this. That's for some of you. Not all y'all. Or somebody here wants to, um, maybe they wish they gave you support. Who knows? Something about your support system. Something about your family. Maybe your family wants to commu communicate something to you. Or a family member. This person could be a Cancer. Or they could have Cancer or Virgo in their chart. For, okay, Taurus, you got a lot of people. If you, because this is not everyone. Everyone doesn't resonate with this. But if you you know distanced yourself from a toxic family dynamic there are certain people certain family members in your um family that uh are feeling guilty or regretful for something i don't know mm -mm, not today I was about to sing the song. I'm going to save it for a collective reading. What's going on? <laughs> or maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Maybe somebody doesn't know what to do right now. I don't know. Someone doesn't know what to do. One more. Maybe someone's going to come to you and need, they're going to ask for your help or something. Okay. We have tours. Maybe someone's going to ask for your help. Maybe they need finances or financial help or something here. Maybe you have something here that could help this person. Maybe like a advice or guidance. I don't know. Just went on with tours. We have ninth house again. <laughs> ninth house again for you, tours. The way you believe, or what you believe in, or, or how you see something has changed, or someone has noticed that you have changed, or something. Tell me more. Someone here could be a Sagittarius. You could be a Sag. Someone here is about to become financially free is the vibe I'm getting. We got a monkey. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the monkey. This could be you or someone else. Okay. This is somebody here who wants to come in and compromise with you. You got someone who wants to compromise with you, okay? They've changed the way they've seen something or they've gotten some sort of like, um, someone's expanded their mind, okay? Or they came upon some sort of new information, maybe something here about what happened in the past and now that they know something now, it's changed the way they perceive you or perceive a situation or someone wants to talk to you. You got Libra. Someone here could be a Libra. They could have Libra somewhere in their chart. This could be you or someone else. The number 27 is out here. So someone here definitely learned a lesson. This could have been you who learned some sort of valuable lesson in life. Okay. You learn from it. You've grown from it. You become stronger from it. Or another person has. Maybe you taught someone a lesson. Who knows? You're about to get some sort of justice here, though. This is what it looked like. We got Gemini at the bottom of the deck. Someone here is going to communicate something here that's going to lead to you getting some sort of justice okay or it's going to confirm that you're getting justice okay someone here could have been very narcissistic so you're getting justice over a narcissist someone who was two-faced is the vibe i'm getting this could have been someone here who was talking shit about you or was lying on you you're getting justice for this okay we have first house Okay, so whoever I'm speaking to, you know exactly who you are. Someone here could be born in 1991. This could be you or someone else. Someone here could be born on the 19th of a month. Someone here could be a cusp baby or you're dealing with a cusp baby. Damn. 
somebody okay if, if someone here might be getting more recognition okay an exposure or something like this you guys could be dealing with an aries or you could have aries highly aspected in your chart there's someone here that desires you we have 11th house this could be an aquarius don't have to be yeah there's a whole community of people here that someone's changing their their perception on Someone's someone's reevaluating the the relationships they have around them after some sort of information, hidden information gets revealed, or after someone really expresses how they truly feel about a particular situation, person, or thing. It's going to change everything. We got North Node. You could be in your North Node, or you're headed there. Whoever I'm speaking to, you are very much aware of who you are, why you're here, and what your purpose is. Okay, maybe somebody wants you to be their mentor. Maybe somebody wants to come in and ask you for your guidance and your help with this. Okay, maybe somebody here wants you to help them spiritually grow. Okay, this person might come in uh, with offering you an opportunity or hoping that you will give them an opportunity. Okay, this could be something here about like, um, this could be an opportunity in business, love, friendship, something. A rekindling is the vibe I'm getting. I keep picking up something about Florida, so I don't know. That could be just a confirmation for somebody. Maybe you live in Florida. You guys could be seeing 911 a lot. You guys could be seeing 111. I said that already. With the 11th house out here too as well it's almost like you're going to be getting some sort of justice like and the whole community is going to know a whole family's going to know like a lot of people are going to know about you receiving some sort of justice what's going on taurus i'm trying not to make these long holy spirit holy angels what's going on with my tauruses what do they need to hear at this time Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, North, South Node. What's going on with my Tauruses? My Tor Tor. What do they need to hear at this time for their highest good? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What do they need to hear? Okay, so we have Prosperity Begins. Well, hot diggity dang. This is part of your new beginning. Something here is going to be lasting for a very long time. We have Financial Material Changes. I don't know. Some of you might be receiving communication that there's some sort of um, increase in your finances of some way we have third eye chakra maybe you intuitively have already picked this up or there's an in, there's an, uh, a need for you to use your intuition okay when it comes to your finances someone here could be 56 or 65 someone here could be 51 61 someone here could be a life path one five six Woo, nine Someone here could be suffering in silence. You could have been suffering in silence. Someone here could be 49 years old. This can be your emperor. For some of you, I don't know, this could be about a twin flame situation. Don't have to be. This could be your father. This could be a baby father. Flip over and needs to go. Someone here has been holding their tongue, I feel like. Someone really wants to come in and... Uh, and say something to you they they don't someone here does cannot take being away from you for this long or something like this something's got to give someone knows that they're hurting themselves by not like reaching out to you um someone here could be born in 1994 1984 1986 someone here could be 44 years old or born in 1989 someone knows that you're lovable and you're deserving of love okay maybe that's why someone knows they need to take some sort of action here whatever it is it's going to lead to some sort of success and victory okay what are 
prosperity begins for my Tauruses. Red flag. Child. Okay, so someone here wants to come in with some sort of like offer and you need to pay attention to the red flags. It says, I regret talking shit about you. So you got somebody here who's going to come in and offer you something like an opportunity or blase blase. But this is someone here who was talking shit about you in the past. Who is this person that regrets talking shit to my Tauruses? This hair. We have coming in as a partner or companion. So this is an ex of yours or an ex friend regrets talking shit. Pisces. This could be a Pisces here or someone who has Pisces somewhere in their chart that regrets talking shit about you. We got twin flame. This could have been your twin flame. So your twin flame could have believed a whole community of individuals um, over you. This could have been your twin flame who, you know, listened to the lies and rumors that were spread about you from a community, from your family, their family, their group of friends, your group of friends. And now they regret talking shit and joining in on the bullshit. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the horse. This could be you or someone else. Regrets talking shit. We got goat. This could be someone who has the Chinese zodiac sign of the goat or you do who regrets talking shit. We got feminine energy. Could be someone here who regrets talking shit. Or someone regrets talking shit about a feminine energy. We got friend, acquaintance, or co-worker. So there could be, this could be your friend, acquaintance, or co-worker that regrets talking shit about you. Or someone else's friend, acquaintance, or co-worker. Sagittarius. This person could be a Sagittarius that regrets talking shit about you or you're a Sag. We got Virgo. This could be a Virgo that regrets talking shit. A Libra regrets talking shit. We got Soulmate. You know what? You know what part of the song I just um I just heard? from uh what's this called uh j cole middle child where he goes um i'm gonna slap all that hate out your mouth like i don't know who listen taurus you're gonna you about to you're about to humble a lot of weirdos is the vibe i'm getting okay why do we have financial material changes these are people who were trying to humble you though trying to talk shit about you trying to downplay you we have getting readings on you. So somebody here has definitely been getting readings on you. Okay. And they know something real serious is about to happen. Or they're realizing like you are standing your ground. And you're real serious about your life purpose. You're very serious about what you got going on in your life. Okay. You're very serious about keeping your boundaries strong. You're very serious about your financial issues or something. Because someone's getting readings on your financial and material changes. So somebody, I don't know, I don't like that. Why somebody getting readings on what you got in your pocket? That's weird. Um, who's this person getting readings on you? Can we get a clue? Someone here who, who rides motorcycles could be getting readings on you. Or you ride a motorcycle, flip it where you need to go, not your mama, not your daddy. This person could be a Jerug addict, okay? Or they could be recently quitting drugs or you used to do drugs with them. That's for some of you. Not all y'all. Who's getting readings on you? This could be a Gemini. This person could have Gemini somewhere in their chart, or you do, that's getting readings on you about your finances. Okay? We have foreign. This person could be from a whole nother country. All right? They could be from a different country that's doing this, or someone here is getting readings from someone who lives in a different country on you. Or somebody here feels like someone here wants to leave a country. Maybe someone's planning on trying to leave with the country because maybe they got a reading on your your finances and found out that you're going to be receiving something and that became a red flag to them because someone knows that they're about to get caught up for something here that they did that was illegal. Maybe someone did this out of desperation because they needed to pay for drugs or buy drugs, who knows, or keep up their addiction. We have Caucasian. It says, I have European ancestry. So someone here could be from the um, Caucasus Mountains. Okay, this person could have braces. It says, brace face. I have braces. This could be someone here who's getting readings on you. This person could be a tomboy. Okay. Um, this person could dress for comfort. Dress like, mas dress masculine. This person could have dark skin. Okay. Flip it where it needs to go. We got short. Okay, this person could be a short. This person could be short. This person could be curvy. They could have a curvy body. 
It says, you will find me in the kitchen. This person could be someone who really likes to cook. Or someone who really likes to eat. Sound like that, or this is you. <laughs> Flip where I need to go. But they've been getting readings on you. Maybe they've been getting readings on, like, your health or what you're eating. Maybe someone's trying to send you energy to eat certain foods that, that aren't good for you. So, I don't know. Maybe someone's trying to get you to, like, eat a lot of sweets so that you could uh, develop di diabetes. Diabetes. You know? Or something. That's for some of you, not all of y'all. Why do we have, um, Third Eye Chakra? Somebody weird. We have concealed weapon blackmail. So be aware of someone coming towards you in the near future trying to blackmail you or somebody coming in with a knife behind their back and a smile on their face. This person wants to come in and act like they want to fix something with you. With you. They don't. This person's wearing a mask. This person's watching you heavy. Who the fuck is this? keep hearing the song i'm gonna wait until the collective read spirit why do we have uh watching you we have goats so someone who has the chinese zodiac sign of the goat is watching you heavy who watching them oh my god too many who watching them gosh diggity dang a cancer so you have a cancer here that's watching you or someone here is in their feelings because of what they're seeing when they're watching you we have friend, acquaintance, <coughs> co-worker. Somebody does not want me to talk. I just got chudo chopped in the throat when I said that. Someone here don't want you to, someone doesn't want you to know that you're watching, or someone's, who, blah, someone who's watching you doesn't want you to know that they're watching you. I'm pretty sure Tor Taurus already knows. We have nearby, so somebody here is trying to find a way to get nearby you or someone here who's nearby you is keeping a watchful eye on your ass. I don't know if this is good or bad, child. We got Libra. This person could be a Libra who's watching you. Maybe this person's giving you the evil eye. We got Mirror. This person could be in competition with you. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Well, if you're doing the watching, probably not you. Tell me more what's going on. Let's see. Karmic. Yeah, this is a karmic individual spending all their time watching you. Doing mirror, mirror on the wall. Who the fairest of them all? Yeah, we got long term. This is somebody here you've known for a very long time or you've been in a long term relationship with them before. Okay, that's watching you. drive like um dirt bikes or what are these called quads someone do this for fun or something i don't know this could be you or someone else holy spirit holy angels or someone here is getting stuck in the mud and they need help see how this person is stuck in the mud Maybe someone's going to come towards you and ask you for help because they're, they're stuck in some sort of quicksand. Maybe this was someone here trying to get you stuck in some sort of quicksand. Oh my god, I can't even talk. And um, they're, getting, they're getting stuck in it. Someone needs your assistance. Someone needs your help. Who is this person that's watching them? Or someone's watching to see if you got stuck yet or some dumb shit. Who's watching them? Can we get some characteristics? This person could have bright ombre or dyed hair. They could dye their hair a lot or something. Who watching them? This could be a Pisces. So you got a Pisces that's watching you. A water sign. They could have Pisces somewhere in their chart. Who's watching them? Someone here could be astral traveling to you because she do got a fucking pillow in her hand. Um, We got 20s. This could be somebody who's in their 20s who's doing this. Okay, This person could be doing dream magic or watching you in, with inside their dreams or whatever. Who's watching them? Someone who's bald. This person could be bald. They could have a buzz cut. They could be watching you. They could <laughs> Lord have mercy. So 
one or more, or this is someone you met in your 20s, flip where it needs to go, or you're in your 20s. This person could be part of the LGBTQ non-binary community situation that's watching you, okay? Or this is, you're part of this community. We got Sagittarius. This person could be a Sagittarius that's watching you heavy, a Cancer that's watching you heavy, okay? Uh, a bodybuilder or someone who has muscles or someone who goes to the gym a lot could be watching you. This person could be your parent, okay, or someone you co-parent with or one of your children could be watching you. I don't know. Or they were told to watch you. I don't know. We got um, small lips. Someone here who has small lips could be watching you heavy. Someone here who has light caramel complexion could be watching you heavy. Someone here who has brown, hazel, or gray eyes could be watching you heavy. Alright, Taurus. Why do we got suffering in silence? Someone here going to someone here is getting bad news bears, baby. We got pissed. Pissed fell on the floor. Somebody is pissed. Uber pissed. Somebody uber pissed about you being in control of your life, possibly, because the next card is authority. Maybe someone here is pissed about um you meeting someone here or you just being in control of your life your situation your health your career i don't know or someone here is pissed off because like they can't control you or somebody here is pissed off because maybe the police know that somebody here is watching you i don't know maybe somebody pissed because i don't know what's this bad news let's find out Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, why do we have bad news bears? What's this about? Someone here could be drinking a lot. It says excessive drinking, alcohol, drugs. Okay. Someone's from another country, I guess. Maybe this person is not like, I don't know. This could be someone who's an immigrant. They, they don't have citizenship for this the country they reside in or something like this. I'm also getting something here about offshore accounts. Bad news bears about an offshore account. It's a foreign account and it's an account that's offshore of where you live or something like this. Someone here is mad about this? Or they're getting bad news about this? Maybe they're losing an offshore account? I don't know. Or they're getting bad news bears because they need to they have to say goodbye or they have to let you go or they don't want to let you go. Or in the distant future, you're going to receive a message that someone here has passed away. Someone here, this could have been, I don't know. There's an official person who's scared. This could be a younger man, a male relative. Why do we got pissed? Who's pissed off? I just tasted um unsweetened tea. Like unsweetened Lipton, Lipton tea. I don't know. Okay, so we have courthouse. Somebody's pissed about some sort of decision that was made in the courthouse. Some sort of court case is like going to trial or something here and someone's mad about it. This could be a young female relative of yours that's pissed off about this. Someone here could be feeling weak by some sort of court ruling. They don't like what's going on here. What the fuck is happening? Why are they watching them so heavily? Someone's trying to see like who you're associating with. They want to see if anything has changed in your life. Because then that would signify that you received something or something like that. Thief. There's a thief here. 
something has changed with this thief. This this thief may have to move now. This thief may have to change their job or find new work. I don't know. Somebody here, something here is changing here with this thief. This person could be real um, depressed. <laughs> Keep going, chow. Hot diggity dang. What's happening? What's happening, Captain? What's going on, Spirit? What the hell? I'm using... Come on now. The Emperor keeps coming out. This is an emperor in reverse, though. So someone here is over, uh, um, abusing their power and their control. This is someone here who has uh, had the inability to be um, flexible when it comes to something here. And this is what's getting them caught up. Fuck. Never mind. Okay, so what's this? Why do we got prosperity beans? Be careful about somebody wanting to come in and, um... Ah, yeah, mm-mm, no, I knew it. It felt weird. Listen, you got someone coming in wanting to communicate something to you. They're coming in and they're taking swift action to communicate. This is someone here who wants to travel towards you with this Eight of Wands. Listen, though, we got the Ace of Cups and then we have the King of Cups in reverse. He's cool when he's upright, but he in reverse. And this is clarifying the Prosperity Begins card. So there's somebody here who wants to offer you a long-term commitment. Red flag. Okay? This individual is overly emotional. I can't even. Manipulative. Okay? This person is very moody. Okay? They have repressed emotions of hatred towards you. Okay? I don't think this is love. Um, this individual... Um, they're emotionally unavailable. They don't got no love for you. I feel like this person wants to come towards you because they got a reading on you and they found out that you're going to have positive or you already received some sort of positive financial and material changes in your life. I feel like this person also is trying to get readings on you to see how you would emotionally react to them coming towards you and communicating with you. Okay? This person... This person is scared of you, I feel like. They should be. Tell me more. This person's emotionally immature. They definitely were emotionally immature in the past as well. Maybe this person wants to come in and say they changed. They want to give you some sort of romantic offer. They want to say they you're their joy or whatever. Yeah, page of swords in reverse. This motherfucker's a stalker. This person plays a lot of mind games. This is someone here who is definitely talking shit about you. Gossiping. This is someone here who's real cynical. This is someone here who's going to come in and act like they're going to speak their truth to you and they're not. Or someone here wants you to stop speaking your truth because you're exposing how weird they are. Um, and there's a lot of unanswered questions here that maybe you have about this person. Or this person feels like you have, that you, there's some sort of unanswered questions with you or the unfinished business. I don't know. This person's watching the fuck out of you though. Yeah, this person wants to come in and... Um, they want you to believe that they could make you happy or make you emotionally fulfilled or whatever. This person could have a family as well, child. They want to have a blissful life with you. I don't I don't know about it. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know about this at all. Financial material. Here we got Queen of Wands. Whoever I'm speaking to, you could be very independent. You could be very determined and ambitious at this time. You could be focusing on getting that bag. You could be focusing on your fucking career with that 10th house that came out earlier. You could be focused on, you know, your life purpose, what you're here to do, okay? I feel like whoever I'm speaking to right now is not the time for uh, for this. This is This is giving distraction, okay? 
yeah somebody is also trying to get readings on you to see if you're like being outgoing or um if you're associate if you're dating basically get a grip we got knight of swords impulsive this is the impulsive thing you're being asked to be cautious of think about long term look at the bigger picture of something there's someone here that wants to offer you something and make it sound good but it's long in long term wise it's not gonna work and it's because of this person's intentions or the it's or, or it's because of this person's energy like the this individual ha is has not worked on themselves this person's still very manipulative they're very emotionally immature you could be someone who could be very emotional mature and this person's immature the, um, all this person cares about how they feel they don't care about how you feel that maybe this person is hoping that you will be in impulsive or you could be someone who's very fucking blunt i don't know yeah you guys could be dealing with a cancer okay this is a lot of cancer cards out here already you could be moving forward you could be moving on you may not even be thinking about this person like this could have been something that happened like a bajillion years ago whoever i'm speaking to you are in a position of your own power you're in control over your own life you're headed towards success or you're experiencing some form of success you're unstoppable baby okay and you got someone here coming in with the seven of swords that's not a good vibe this person's being sneaky on how or when they come in towards you because this person's searching or trying to manipulate their way back into your life to receive a yes from you and not a no somebody weird i wouldn't be surprised if this person's trying to do love spells too cowardly this person's cowardly this person that's coming in to offer you something. This could even be someone who wants to come in and offer you some sort of financial or material change. This could be someone who wants to come in and be like, hey, move in with me. Or, hey, um, I want to help you with your business. Or, um, I want to partner up with you. Whatever it is. Be mindful. Like, this could be someone who wants to sell you a dream about, like, how they can help you grow. But they're really trying to make you fucking go backwards. Uh, this person is coming in with false pretenses, okay? They 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 coming in to betray you. Self-interest. This person only cares about how they feel and what they will receive. This is all this person gives a fuck about. This could have been someone here who's coming who who cheated on you in the past. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Or this person cheats people. Like you're not the first victim. This person has like scammed or cheated. When it comes to like business is the vibe I'm getting. So you need to be mindful. Someone is hoping you'll be impul impulsive on some sort of opportunity they want to present to you. This person is coming in with a mask. But they, they're trying to sell you a dream. They're trying to sell you the ten of cups. They're trying to sell you something. Like they're trying to make something seem like it's worth your while. And it's, it, it's not. What the fuck is this? Because this is pressuring me off. Maybe there's a whole community of people who are sending this person towards you. And that's why they're watching to see if this person has manipulated you out of your life purpose. Basically, is the vibe I'm getting. Why do I got a little Michael Jackson curl? <laughs> I can't. Someone's name could be Michael. This could be your name or someone else's name. Why, why do we got... Or you got Archangel Michael that's heavily protecting you from this weirdo. Who's this Seven of Swords weirdo? This could be someone who's trying to come in wanting to be your partner or your companion, okay? A business partner or a lover. This could be an ex-lover, an ex-business partner. This person's two-faced. Yeah, this person really think. This person really think you stupid. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the goat, okay, who wants to come in, be all sneaky and try to betray your ass. They're trying to stop your forward movement, okay? They know you're determined. They know you have a lot of... Um, they know they can't like disrupt your willpower, but they're going to try to do it anyway. We have coming in to offer you resources and stability. Yeah, someone here might even come in like offering you money or some form of security or something like this. It's going to sound good, I feel like, but it's not good. Capricorn. This person could be a Capricorn. They could have Capricorn somewhere in their chart or you do. Flip where it needs to go. Someone here is like angry. I, I get the vibe of anger from this Capricorn. 
jealousy, envy. We have ox. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the ox, or you do. Flip where needs to go that wants to come in and be a sneaky snake. This is a karmic individual you need to be mindful of, okay, guys? This person could be an Aquarius, okay? They could have Aquarius somewhere in their chart, or you do. Or this karmic wants to come in and act like they want to heal something with you when in fact they don't. They're come. This is a karmic individual who's been like contracted to stop you from your life purpose, from you and like fully being in it it's you or them be mindful of this person oh lord who this person can we get a clue this person could be an animal lover they could have a doggy that looks like this or you do who this um seven of swords individual this person could something about their car maybe they drive a lot in their car or they care a lot about their car they 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 like a lot of cars who knows who is this person with a seven of swords this person gonna have a lot of moles or freckles or some shit this person's gonna have dark skin okay that wants to come in with the seven of swords someone here could be busty and lusty i don't know this could be you or someone else we got musical this person could be musically inclined they could play a musical instrument they could sing or something like this we got motorcycles again so this person can definitely drive a motorcycle or a dirt bike or something we got tomboy okay this person could dress masculine or dress feminine one or the other tell me more spirit what the hell going on why do we got um third eye chakra use your intuition with someone trying to come in and repair a relationship with you yeah we got the ace of wands because you right now you have a passionate new beginning okay or someone coming in wanting to offer you a passionate new beginning wanting to get it in wanting to come in and ignite something with you we got the seven of wands it says make a stand face it on head on it's my life it's my life it's now or never i don't even know what <laughs> Let me keep going. We have don't back down. Haters gonna hate. Okay, so you're free, bitch. You're free from some sort of karmic cycle. And you got your karmics losing their shit. They want to come in and still try. Get a grip. You guys can be seeing a lot of eagles. America. Tell me more. What's happening? We have king of swords. Okay, so you guys could have a Libra out here that you need to use your intuition with. Because this person is coming in real sneaky, real sneaky and real sly. This person is trying to come in and like put it on you. This person is going to try to like, um, I want to sex you up is the vibe I'm getting. This person wants to sex you up. They're hoping they can put their charm on you. Okay. Tell me more. They just want to get it in. We got autumn. Something here about autumn season is of significance for y'all. Maybe you, this might be happening within the next few months or if you decide to listen to your intuition about this individual who, who is claiming they want to heal something with you or fix something with you, you will be grateful for yourself, your future self if you avoid this, okay? Because I feel like something beautiful is supposed to be happening for you in autumn and there's someone here that's trying to like stop this. We got full moon. Something about the full moon is significant. So next Monday could be of significance. Uh, that is the... I can't read from here. Fuck. The 19th? <sighs> A cycle is fully com completing. Please don't let this person back in. Please, 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 please don't. I'm trying to save your soul right now. <laughs> what do we have? What do we have? This. Who will save your soul? Okay, so we have seven of cups here. Somebody's pissed because someone's now seeing through some sort of illusions or confusions here that came from a Gemini or a Gemini or an ex-lover is seeing through some sort of illusions and confusions that were said about you and they're pissed because they believed a lie here. Someone, this is, this is a tower moment here or someone is upset because now you're going to be receiving 
a, a, a soulmate connection or a love connection here and is, this is a tower to someone this is a shock to somebody that you're going to be receiving some sort of love offer um or this is a tower that's coming from another person connected to this weirdo that you want nothing to do with okay um this person's getting eclipsed out who's having this tower moment Someone who has the Chinese zodiac sign of the dragon could be getting a tower moment, or this is just something that's happening this year. This could be someone here that you've only that you are distant from. This person could be an Aries, or they could have Aries somewhere in their chart that's getting some sort of tower moment. This could be a father figure, a baby father, um, a boss, something. We have Cancer. This person could be a Cancer. They could have Cancer somewhere in their chart. And then we have Tiger. Someone here who has the Chinese Zodiac sign of the Tiger could be getting a tower moment or a Gemini. Okay, or an ex-lover, soulmate, family member, something like this, okay? They piss. They piss because you won the battle, okay? You won the war. The war is over. Basically is what it looked like to me. Let's get out Big Bertha. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on with my Tauruses? What do they need to hear at this time for they has to yeah, whoever I'm speaking to, you are in fact a healer. And somebody here definitely knows that because they was trying to attack you. Yeah, we got Aquarius. You guys could have been dealing with an Aquarius here. Okay, or you could be an Aquarius watching and you have Taurus somewhere in your chart and you are a healer. Flip it where I need to go. Okay, or you're a healer here. This is just part of your life purpose with this Aquarius card out here. We have Tinder date. I don't know. Somebody here wants to ask you out on a date or something here. Or this is somebody here that you met on Tinder. Who knows? You are an earth angel, my child. Okay? Something here about a shoplifting charge could be of significance. Someone here tried to stage something here to look like an accident. Maybe, um, maybe it wasn't and someone's pissed because some sort of truth is coming out. Who knows? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Yeah, you're being asked to protect your energy at this time. When it comes to someone trying to come ask you on a date. This also, with Tinder date, it's also kind of giving me blind date. So this could be someone you don't even know, for some of you. This could be someone who wants to approach you and ask you out on a date. Uh, and you don't, if you don't know this motherfucker, maybe you need to say no. I don't know. Pay attention to your intuition. We have manslaughter. Okay. Something about that is of significance. Something here about the FBI may know something here about some sort of manslaughter. Tell me more. Okay. Dangerous. So there's somebody here who's real dangerous. This is under Aquarius shoplifting charge. We have Virgo Leo Cusp. You guys could be dealing with the Virgo Leo Cusp. You need to protect your energy from them. We have stolen identity. Someone here definitely could have stolen your identity, Earth Angel. Okay. We have dreams. Someone's all up in your dreams, Taurus. They got to go. They have to st stagaddle. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. Also, you're being asked to pay attention to your dreams because your, your spirit team, your angels, your ancestors are trying to warn you about this particular individual. We have Listen Linda. Yeah, they're trying to warn you about something. Pay attention. Somebody here dangerous. You got a dangerous person on your ass. On Urias, we got ordered to clock out of work early. So someone here is pissed off because they their job is getting all fucked up. They're maybe they're about to get fired. I don't know. This is karma that they're going through. We have shady person. You're dealing with a shady ass person who stole your identity. This person's now trying to make you shut the fuck up because they don't want to go to jail. Or this person doesn't want to get in trouble. This could be an Aquarius who's dangerous that wants you to shut the fuck up. We got Scorpio Sagittarius Cusp. So you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio Sagittarius Cusp that you could have went on a Tinder date with that you need to protect your energy from. Okay, or a Scorpio Sagittarius Cup, Cup, <laughs> Cusp was um, ordered to uh, clock out of the job early because maybe they did something weird with their job. Maybe someone abused their power at their workplace. They abused their power of pos their position of power or something like this. And maybe they just got caught up. I don't know. Someone here definitely was planning to get you arrested. Okay. We have three days. Be careful. So someone here might ask you out to go somewhere with them or to fix something with them. But it's all to try to get you arrested. It's a it's a plan to get you to get 
close to them so that they could either bait you into an argument or a physical altercation and then little you gets put into a jail we have um destiny's child i am a survivor listen that's already happened to me before i ain't gonna fall for it again um let's see you're a survivor homie whoever i'm speaking to tell me more what's going on yeah they trying to rescue again they trying to do it again Someone's first middle or last name could start with a V. This could be you or someone else. Something here about your best friend. Best friend. Something about your best friend. You need to protect your energy from your best friend. Okay. We have um, impersonating an officer. Okay. So somebody here is coming in acting like they something when they not. Be mindful. This is going to be happening in the next three days. This could be someone here who's uh, coming in pretending they're an official person when they're not. Because earlier... I got the card of an, an official of an official person being scared, being in fear about some sort of truth or knowledge coming out. We got bookworm. Somebody wants to know how you know something or someone here is trying to research you or look you up. This could be a boss or a manager of yours who's trying to do this. Ciao. Somebody here about to get fucking sued. Someone here is getting sued or someone here is trying to avoid getting sued. They know they're in the wrong I'm also getting someone here could have been trying to sue you. So just be mindful. Don't get into no altercations with motherfuckers, please. We got smoker. Someone here could be a heavy smoker. They could be smoking the marijuana. The cigarettes. The vapors. The crack cocaine. The meth. Whatever they're doing, they smoking something. Tell me more, spirit. <laughs> What's going on? I need a nod. Someone here could definitely be psychically attacking you at this time. Make sure you're wearing amethyst or you're sleeping with black tourmaline underneath your pillow. You're being asked to focus on yourself at this time. Okay, Taurus. Someone really wants to try to get your attention to distract you. Wow! I wish you guys could see this. <laughs> it landed on my cup. <laughs> it's perfect. It says justice for a child. You're going to get some sort of justice here, okay? Or if you're if you're dealing with like a court thing with your children and you're trying to get your kids back, you're going to get your child back. Okay, you're going to get justice. Especially, if, you know, whatever. Let me keep going. We have hearing your name be called. All right. So somebody someone here could have answered the call and someone here mad about it. I don't know. Tell me more. Or somebody's hearing their name get called as in, you know, they're up next for some some ass whooping we got <laughs> fraud someone here is getting caught for fraud okay we have gnats someone here could definitely be spiritually spying on you okay somebody getting sued tell me more spirit fraud you ain't nothing but a we have itchy skin you guys could be experiencing some sort of itchy skin here or someone else is or maybe someone's withdrawing from some sort of drugs and now they got itchy skin someone here could be developing um hives or something or i don't know who knows we got alcohol someone here could be drinking a lot of alcohols okay this could be your best friend drinking a lot of alcohol or um there's someone here who's trying to get you on a date so that you could drink alcohol or someone here is an alcoholic this could be your best friend this could be a scorpio sagittarius cuss this could be a virgo leo cuss flip where it needs to go maybe that's why someone here got was ordered to clock out of work early because they were drunk at the job or something yikes listen been there done that <laughs> tell me more yeah someone need to go aa we got god grant me the serenity to accept the things i cannot change courage to change the things that i can and the wisdom to know the difference let go and let god okay tell me more we have a uh, lion king it says remember who you are simba remember okay you're being asked to remember who the fuck you is in the next three days baby you're a fucking healer is who you is remember that in the next three days remember you are a healer you are strong you're capable of anything you put your mind mind to you are an earth angel you're not like these other people you're not cut from the same cloth you're not built from the same bricks as these bitches you're not even cooking with the same sauce they all got bad taste tell me more spirit what else is going on 
we got moving relocating okay so somebody here could be moving or relocating this could be you or these individuals here who are scared because they go into jail yeah we got believe in yourself you're being asked to believe in yourself we have throw out the trash all right so <laughs> so whoever i'm speaking to uh you could have threw away a, a best friend you threw them in the trash they might want to come back to you a uh, virgo leo cusp you could have thrown away they want to come back a scorpio sagittarius cusp you could have thrown away they want to come back somebody here that you went on a tinder date with wants to come back you threw them in the trash the person that is a boss or a manager you don't you whoever i'm speaking to you no longer work with this this boss or a manager you threw them in the trash they're trying to come back you need to protect <laughs> you need to protect your energies from these people okay they're going to be trying to call out your name or these individuals are trying to manifest you maybe they're like chanting <laughs> for you to come back that ain't gonna work tell me more we have rumors and lies so all these rumors and lies that were spread and, and told about you you're about to get justice for in the next three days you're gonna see these bitches fall we got fake twin flame this could have been your fake twin flame that was spreading a lot of lies about you because he's a hating ass bitch or hoe um tell me more spirit what happened in the next three days because hot diggity dang what's happening in the next three days spirit remember who you are remember remember okay let me stop okay <laughs> three days what's happening in three days spirit higher front god's coming through maybe there's something here about a priest i don't know something about the next three days the divine is about to bring in um justice for whatever was whoever was right is gonna be something and then whoever was wrong is gonna be made something tell me more balance is being restored or in the next three days um let me keep going maybe someone gonna try to want never mind let me shut up yeah no i think it is i think it is somebody here is out of ideas this could be a religious leader that was spreading lies and rumors about you okay this could be someone here that has a different uh, different a different philosophy of life they have a different perspective on life a different view on life they don't like your view because it contradicts their view something like that or it doesn't benefit them your view doesn't benefit them okay whoever this individual is okay this religious leader or spiritualist flip where needs to go this person is running out of ideas on how to destroy you. They know they need to go down another path. Or they're going to find out they need to go down another path in the next three days. Because they fucking with the wrong one. Yeah, we got nine of coins in reverse. Somebody here is about to be a hanged man or a hanged woman. Yeah, you're being asked to stand up for what you deserve. Or this is someone here who felt undervalued, okay? This is someone here who was attacking you, who felt undervalued. They felt like they were working too hard for free. And they were taking that frustration out on you. This is somebody here that you released. Maybe somebody going through karma because they fucked with you. What else is going on in the next motherfucking three days, period? What's going on with Barry with the next three days? Courthouse. <laughs> oh, Lord. The decision has been made. Yeah. This is a whole... This whole group of people that fucking did something here. Everything is being put to rest. Or they're all gathering... This whole group that was coming against you, they don't even know what to do anymore. They know justice is on your side. Yeah, we got misdemeanor. Someone here might end up getting a misdemeanor or someone was lying about you having a misdemeanor or trying to get you to have one. I don't know. Trying to make you feel guilty now. So someone's going to come in and try to make you feel guilty because they feel guilty and because you're getting justice. We have forged signature. So someone here who forged your signature, they can, they're going to try to manipulate you out of like pressing charges probably on them this person's gonna come in crying overly emotional Wah. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Get out of here, bro. Someone's gonna go to jail for like one to three years or something. What's happening? A, substan a substantial effort will be required. Something about a cancer, bro. Somebody knows they need to put in some sort of hard work or they know it's going to be hard to try to get your gain your trust again or to like say what they need to say. Say what you need to say. <laughs> it's the vibe I'm getting. Okay, someone here could be a Saggies. This could be you or someone else. Or someone knows that they need to express their emotions in order to be to set themselves free or something like this. Okay. By the way, I restocked if you're interested. Who forged their signature? Someone you were once in a long-term relationship could have forged your signature here. Maybe they forged your signature on, on a marriage document and you don't know about it and you're about to find out about it in the next three days. Who, what's up with this forged document? Karmic. So this is a karmic individual that you either knew for a very long time or you once were in a long-term relationship that forged your document, forged your signature on a document forged signature this person could have the chinese zodiac sign of the snake that forged your signature okay or that's you we got false flame there's a false flame here that forged your signature on something this could have been a leo that forged your signature on something here and you're about to find out about it we got gemini this could have been a gemini here who uh forged your signature on some shit someone who has the chinese zodiac sign of the taga could have forged your signature on some shit Okay, an Aries could have forged your signature on something. This could have been a boss that forged your signature on uh, on something. Okay, for some of y'all, man. Okay, so for some of y'all, this could have been a boss here that forged your signature on something at work to make you look like you were incompetent at your job or something or to, or to place the blame on you. This could be coming out in the next three days. Wow. Um, this could be also uh, a father figure could have forged your signature a baby father some or someone here who um had a position of power and they misused it and that's why they're nervous they're scared they're shook panicking <laughs> i need to stop i need to calm down okay let's see what else you guys need to hear um let's do these what else do my Tauruses need to hear regarding this situation? Situation. Situation. <laughs> my Tauruses. We have healing energy work. The work you have done on yourself has worked. Okay? The negative energy is dissipating. So whatever you've been doing, it's been working. Okay, child? When it comes to, like, cleansing and stuff. We have backfire. It says, dark energy sent your way will be turned back on the sender it's this failed attempt so someone here definitely was trying to attack you and it failed it failed miserably miserably someone here could be miserable okay so something about the color yellow could be of significance as well maybe someone here was definitely trying to attack your solar plexus chakra we have sun protection let the rays of the sun clear away negative energy you might be feeling at this time so some of you need to go do some sun bathing with um, with your sunblock okay we have a uh, spirit team your spirit team has your back right now it says you are not alone okay you are not alone your spirit team is whooping ass we have voodoo on whoever was doing voodoo on you it says someone is doing voodoo work on you to achieve something against you okay and it's backfired whatever this voodoo work was okay Yeah, this is a vampire. It says someone is ciphering your energy for their own advantage. So you got a weird-ass vampire here, okay, that's trying to suck off your energy. We have instant karma. This person will receive instant karma for trying to cipher off your energy. It says they will receive instant karma for anything they try to do to you because it's justice time, baby. That's why. Go suck a day. Who out here? Who this vampire? Matter of fact. This could be a soulmate of yours, so a family member, a friend, an ex. Who is this soul? Oh, not soulmate. Who is this vi a vampire? An Aquarius. So you have an Aquarius here that's an energy vampire. Who is this um, vampire here? This could have been an ex. Or somebody you used to team up with. Okay. 
Okay. Who is this vampire? Okay, new connection. So maybe this is someone new coming into your life that's an energy vampire. Maybe you... <laughs> Oh, maybe you guys are out here actively dating and you just keep running into energy vampires. Tell me more. We have Aries. Or there's an energy vampire here that's upset because you are destined to meet someone new and they don't want you to. Okay, we got Twin Flame. Maybe your new connection is a Twin Flame and not a fake Twin Flame. Is somebody mad? They're going to get instant karma. Who doing this voodoo? A karmic Gemini. So there was a karmic Gemini here who did voodoo on you. They were warned not to do it. And now they, they're experiencing some sort of dark energy um, hitting the ass. This is someone here who was very two-faced to you. Someone here who was very much nice to your face and shitty behind your back. This could have been an ex-lover or a family member. This could have been a Capricorn. They have Capricorn somewhere in their chart. Showing fake love to me. This person gave you fake love. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the monkey, okay? That was doing voodoo on you. Or this is your Chinese zodiac sign, Libra. This could have been a Libra out here trying to do some voodoo on you and it backfired. Okay? It's probably because they didn't want you to know the truth. We have um, Taurus. This could have been a Taurus, another Taurus, Taurus doing voodoo on you and they got a backfire. Okay, we got Dragon. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the dragon who was doing voodoo on you and then we have Cancer. You guys could have had a cancer out here doing voodoo on you. They were doing the whole mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Not you, Karmic, okay? Not you. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay. So... No, I gotta hurry up. Let me do the shells real quick. Okay, this is gonna be loud. Okay. Someone's first one or last name can start with an E, a U, a P, an E, a Y, a Q, an I, an I, a Z, a D. An O, a Q, an X, a W, an S, a V, an H, a B. Someone here could be 24 or 42. Someone here could be 74. Someone here could be 23. Someone here could be 34, 35, 30, 32, 37, 31. Someone here could be a master number one. Or master number one. Master number 11. We have G, R, J. Something about the year 2009 is significant. N, X, W, U, F, P, B, D, H. The number 77 could be of significance. The number 69 could be of significance. The number 33 could be of significance. 22 could be significant or the or the number 222 you guys could be seeing that a lot it's important for you to make a wise choice and decision someone here could be 45 or 55 or 54 the number 54 could be of significance not 54 55 someone here could be 40 oh, oh, oh. someone here could be from europe eugeny someone's name is gregory Something about the IRS is significant. Maybe someone's getting caught up from the IRS. Or there's something weird with someone's iris. Someone's name is Eugene. Or something here about eugenics. Yikes. Um, someone here could be, uh, <laughs> someone here could be racist. That's for some of you, not all y'all. We got the word rise. You continue to rise up. 
you continue to be someone who rises up to the occasion you're you're someone here who continues to keep fighting or whenever you get down you keep getting back up i don't know something like that is going on You could be on your grind. We got the word grind. You could be on your grind or someone here is upset about your grind or hustle. Someone wanted to substitute you or subtract you out of a situation. Someone here was trying to create a dupe. Someone was trying to dupe. Get a dupe. I don't know. Someone feels like a, a dope. I don't know, or someone's smoking a lot of dope. Or someone's trying to stop your grind and your hustle by trying to distract you, okay? Maybe by trying to get you to, like, party or something like this. This is for some of you, not all y'all. Something about Popeyes is significant. We got the word, we got the word B, okay? So you guys can be seeing a lot of Bs, or you are, are to have... <laughs> You are destined to have some sort of prosperity and abundance in your near future and someone here could be trying to stop this, okay? Or you could be attracting a lot of good things right now because your energy is sweet. Something here about reindeer or significant. Maybe you guys are seeing a lot of reindeers or you're going to be. Maybe this will be your, confir your confirmation. Somebody's last name could be Gibbs. You got Gibbs out here. Or somebody here claimed you. They said they had dibs on you when it comes to like a relationship or something here. Someone's trying to claim you. I don't know. Like your property. Okay, confirmation, I guess. Um, someone here could be a registered nurse, an RN. Someone here wants the piece of the pie. We got the word pie out here. Something here about a peer could be of significance. Maybe somebody lives by a pier, an ocean, or someone wants to take you out on a date to the pier or the ocean. I just heard undying love. I don't know. Something here about the sun is of significance. Something here about your body is of significance. Someone here keeps watching your body. I don't know. Who knows? If someone here is a fiend. Someone here could be fiending for something. There's something here about Fendi. Something about New York. Someone needs to focus on taking their kid to the pediatrician. Someone here could drink a lot of gin. Someone's name could be Pierre. Or someone drinks a lot of, like, um, Perrier soda or some water. Something here is on fire or someone wants to dampen your fire, put out your, your fire, your ambition, your determination. Someone here could be uh, in the star stock market or a stock broker or something here with the word Dow. Do, D O W. Someone here is getting their water cut off, or someone here could work for the Department of uh, Power and Water. Somebody wants to j hop onto the ride, your ride. We got the word ride. Someone here could drive Uber. We got the word Uber, and then we have the word drive. Or ride, I mean. No, we do have drive out here, too. Something here about somebody's car is of significance. Maybe you're dealing with someone who drives Uber Uber or something here. Or you do. Flip or need to go. 
Something about a house. We got the word house out here. Maybe you're going to find out about a house. We got the word dig. Someone here keeps trying to dig up on dirt on you. We got beep. Someone here could be honking at you or something. Someone's trying to get someone's attention. Someone here is about to get hired. We got the word hired or someone wants to offer you a job. I don't know. Maybe this is from an old boss or manager, but it's not for your highest good. Someone, something here about a window. Your window is significant or someone else's window. Maybe someone, I don't know. Maybe someone's trying to peer through your, your window. Someone here could be a perv. Someone here could uh, use a lot of dip. Something's going to make you really giddy. Some sort of information that you're about to receive. Somebody's saying some real fucked up things. Someone's name is Wendy. Yeah, you already won something here. Or you're going to find out you won something here. There's something here that you had to do yourself. Do it yourself. DIY. Or, I don't know, someone here is a slob. Or someone wants to come in with a sob story. Be mindful. Someone's name could be Eddie or Ed. Something about Wednesday is going to be significant for you. Someone's name could be Ned. Or someone here could be nerdy. Someone could have been calling you a nerd. I don't know. Something here about Facebook is significant as well. I'm going to end it. Someone's last name is Wentz. Okay, spirit. Um, what else so we can bounce? What else do my Tauruses need to hear for their highest good? What kind of positive things can my Tauruses do they need to know? Are these upside down? Okay. What kind of positive things can my Tauruses expect in the near future, Spirit? What kind of positive things can my Tauruses expect in the near future? <laughs> it says, your dreams are being supported. Divine connection with God, universe, power, wisdom, purpose, and knowledge. Whoever I'm speaking to, the divine is stepping in on your behalf. Okay? You will be taken care of during difficult times. We have match. It says, good news, a pleasant surprise waiting to settle down. It says, new love on the right track towards dreams. So you're about to meet your match, okay? You're about to meet somebody here who, like, you guys match the same energy or something like this. Or you guys vibe at the same frequency. Someone here could be born in 1983. Someone here could be 56 years old. This could be you or someone else. Tell me more, spirit. We have quill and ink. It says inner growth and positive health rewards new business ventures and inflow of money. Gift of gab, good relationships, innovator. Okay, so you're about to team up with a like-minded individual that will, you know, you guys will end up creating something beautiful. Okay? Whether that's a family, a business, a company, something. We have Torch On. This is attracting attention from suitors, recognition in life, promotion, hard work, will be rewarded happy so you're listen you it's you're destined to be happy in your near future okay the divine is not gonna let somebody come in and fuck that up for you okay yeah we have a decay it says bonds are breaking grief 
too much time has passed sadness okay so you got somebody here that wants to spark something with you but time too much time has passed on like the it's done it's over this person wants to come in and try to like fix something with you but it's a no this is somebody here who's real sad they have a lot of sadness around them this person could have a this person will only bring nothing but negative energy around you so just be mindful of this person this could be the person who has a gift of gab this could be the someone who's this could be the person who's very talkative we have corrupted by wealth all someone cares about is money here be mindful of someone you do business with so it's corrupted by wealth, excess, and prestige. It says you need additional nourishment in life. There is a traitor in close circle of friends. So yeah, you got a traitor around you. Be mindful. Be mindful. This is the type of person that demands respect from other people. Who's this traitor? This is someone who's been disloyal to you or you've seen them be disloyal to other people or dishonest. This is the individual. Be mindful of this person. Who this person? Who's this person? Who's the traitor? This is the person that wants to come in and give you some fucked up advice that don't make sense. Or they want to come in and ask you for advice. Who's this weird ass corrupt person? A Leo. So you got a Leo here who's corrupt. Be mindful of this person. Who's this person? This corrupt person. This person wants to get nearby you or they are nearby you already. They could be a friend, an acquaintance, or a co-worker. Be mindful of this person. This person is corrupted by wealth, excess, prestige. This could have been a person who accepted a bribe or something here. From someone who was uh, 71 or 67 years old or something. Yeah, we got a soulmate. Okay, this could be a soulmate of yours. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the monkey. Okay, or you do for where it needs to go that could be corrupted by wealth or success or something like that, whatever. Um, be careful of this person. They're coming in trying to give you some old ass flowers. They're not even fresh. They need even fresh. Okay, let's end off one, one of these and then I gotta go for my tour tour. Holy Spirit, my angels, what's going on with my Tauruses? What do they need to hear right now for their highest good? We have deep cellular healing. Okay, I don't even know how to say this. Arcuous energy, it says physical and emotional healing. This, cause, this is something here that you could be going through right now. It says your body knows how to heal. Healing is your natural state. It says physical and emotional disharmony can be a reflection of how the world or the inner and outer has been out of alignment. If you're suffering, if you're suffering from a, a mystery, a mystery or chronic illness, don't allow yourself to think you're you have done something wrong. Today, it's difficult to navigate our health. If it, this card has made its way to you, you're being called to focus on your healing in practical ways to prioritize your health. To be kind and tender to your uh, miraculous body. To give yourself the grounding and care you need. To put your body first. To nourish yourself as you would a newborn baby. To treat yourself with tender care. You may be called to switch things up with your body or your emotional well-being. To call in, in, to call in a team of helpers to support you in navigating any challenges you may be experiencing emotionally. Okay? The Arcturians are a galactic group of beings who have mastered deep cellular and emotional healing. They want you to know that it's possible to feel vibrant in your body and well in your skin. To have your cells return to effervescence and vitality. As is to find calmness and con contentedness. To have a soothed nervous system and a tranquil heart. Okay. It says, I take back my vitality and energy and feel more and more healthy each and every day. My body knows how to heal. My body knows how to heal. Your body knows how to heal itself, okay? I don't know what you guys is going through. Maybe you guys are um, receiving back your vitality or the energy that was stolen from you from an energy vampire. It's coming back, okay? We got baby steps. says action follow your intuition before 
it makes sense. It says you're being called to take grounded action in response to your soul's calling to start where you are and begin building in, in a consistent way. So many people stop themselves from living a soul led life because they're waiting to know the destination before taking the next, the first step. But intuition doesn't work like that. Our soul is always calling us every moment of every day. So if somebody here is not answering the call. Someone's not taking action towards what their soul is calling them to do. You need to do it. We have the way to find yourself living in harmony with the cosmos is to listen to your soul's baby calls and whispers each and every day and to take grounded action in the direction of those calls and whispers. You're being encouraged to start small, bite-sized, to put one foot in front of the other, to do one thing every day, to break things down into achievable tasks. It says time on earth goes slower than on other planets. This may cause fr frustration for star seeds who can expect a faster pace of manifestation and thus give up before the seeds begin to sprout. Don't give up on yourself. It says if you resonate with that, it is time to opt for consistency over urgency. Time to take baby steps in the direction of your calling. To remember that you don't need to have it all figured out or know exactly where the path is leading you. It says you don't have to know every single step along the way before you set out on your great journey. You need to take the next step. Chip. Someone needs to take the next step, okay? Take the next step, baby boo. You got this. It's all in you. What else they need to hear, spirit? And then I got to go. I got to go. <laughs> That's a lot. It says deeper insights are at hand. It says your overall plan is good, but the details need work. It says reflect before moving forward. So I don't know what you need to do. I feel like this is talking about this person that wants to come in with a false ass offer. Whether it's business that this offer is coming in that's regarding or love. Okay, be mindful of it. Think before you take action on that. Okay, and you need to start taking action on what your soul wants you to do, which I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you know the difference. Okay. We have make a decision. It says, are you choosing to prioritize yourself or another in this situation? Accept divine guidance pointing you towards your own joy. You deserve it. So listen, um, you need to ask yourself when this person comes in with this offer, ask yourself, uh, is this something here that's, um, I don't want to say benefit, but is this something here that like you're, are you gonna be happy with accepting this or, or are you just accepting it to make someone else happy okay and then we have change is coming you need to do what's best for you is the vibe i'm getting we have change is coming it says i am here to guide you through this exciting transformation this is a time of joyous opportunities okay so keep your eyes open for these opportunities and then take action on them when they present themselves listen all but except for the weirdo that is coming in you would know use your intuition listen this is gonna be the end of your reading Taurus. don't forget to like comment share subscribe if you guys are looking to book a personal reading with me i am not available but thank you for the interest till next time i love you okay bye